but I don't want to spend a lot of money. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the crib. Where did that? We're taking a look at the Bandai Anime Heroes <coughs> Chainsaw Man. Come on out! It's a bad time, man. If you come back later, I'll Indian wrestle you. You're coward. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Chainsaw Man on a budget, bro. Look at this price. <laughs> Anime Heroes is Bandai's budget line with such hits as Naruto, Bleach, Juju Kaisen, One Piece. They even have a line called Dragon Stars for DBZ. There's some pretty damn sick figures in that line as well. <laughs> so now we are adding Chainsaw Man to the lineup. Bandai's SH Figure Arts we have already reviewed as well as Figma's uh, attempt at Chainsaw Man. All three, all three at different price points. Hey, I'm always a fan, you know, the hellish economic landscape that we live in currently, we need, we need cheaper figures at damn good quality. Does more expensive always mean better? Well, obviously not, we've already proven that. That's fucking bad. But for a figure at this price point, how does it stack up to the other big two? Let's take a look at the box. This, I do believe this is the first Chainsaw Man product that I have bought that isn't orange and green. Instead, we got the white and green motif. Got the splatter on the back. Got the sick window on front. Product shot on the back. Got double jointed knees, I see that. Double jointed elbows, that, hey, that's always good. Oh, I lied. It's a sick, simple box. What more could you ask for? Let's get him open. Help! What are you doing? I can't hold on! Oh, uh, yeah, the hand holding thing. And here he is, Anime Heroes Chainsaw Man. He is not a SH figure. He is not a Figma figure. He is something new. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. But I don't want to spend a lot of money. This is Chainsaw Man on a budget, bro. You wanna see me get hurt? Will that cheer you up, sir? And he's not half bad. It's definitely something different. There are definitely things I don't like. We could have a picnic. But with a price point like this, I think I'll give it a pass. You know what else is good? Smoking dope. We have absolutely no accessories. So let's get into the figure himself. So let's take a closer look. Bro, he's pretty damn sick, all things considered. I don't think y'all are ready. I don't think y'all are ready for the bomb I am about to drop on y'all. The chainsaws are rubber. They're rubber. All of them. All of the chainsaws, chainsaw blades, are rubber. <laughs> Outrageous. I don't hate it. Well, I mean, it's definitely not what I prefer, but I don't hate it. Got a, uh, got some pretty damn good sculpting on there. Do you call it sculpting if it's rubber? Hell, I don't know. Smoking dope. We start off here at the head. As I said, the rubber chainsaw blade, no eye detail in Chainsaw Man's head. Uh, the handle, neither handle has articulation. Oh, um, I think his chin's a little pointy. Like, yeah, that's a super pointy chin, bro. <coughs> None of the other figures look like that. Not a deal breaker, though. Um, the teeth, like I said in the last Exhume video. I mean, it's like a mass of white. You get no teeth detail. I mean, you get a little bit. You can definitely tell the teeth apart. I'll give it credit there. No detail under here, maybe. <coughs> A super thin neck. Skinny ass neck, but it's detailed. Something I thought interesting. His shirt is a very super thin rubber with freaking ab crunch, man. How sick is that? Bro! Bro, that's freaking awesome. That is awesome articulation for this price. But the shirt is this very, I don't know, it feels like I could pinch it and rip it. It's that thin, but can't. But it feels good, feels sturdy. I love the texturing and the wrinkles. It's a nice touch. Uh, we don't have a wavy gravy tie. It isn't wavy gravy at all. Talk about the articulation. We got it pretty good here. Double barbell joint up here. Look up pretty good. There's your down. We got drop joints in the shoulders that's nice i'd rather have it than not <laughs> one of my favorite things swivel at the elbow earlier i said i thought they were double jointed they are not <laughs> they are single jointed that is it that is all you were getting out of that elbow that's cool we got the swivel <laughs> like the figma figure open hands is all we got going further down as you might have saw 
little bit of gappage here. He's got a hard plastic white, like white plastic up underneath. Put the rubber back, that way we don't get no gappage. Chainsaw man butt. Gotta get his hand more on the butt. He's gotta get it up in there a little more. Looks good, Phil. There are holes in my belts! Who put these holes in my belts? Pleated black plants. Another thing I like, drop hips, man. I, it's, like I said, rather have it than not. Double jointed knees. And like I said in our last review, I love my dingy and chainsaw man with big old honking feet, man. Uh, his high tops kind of limit ankle pivot, and there is no toe articulation. I definitely wish it had toe articulation. Always need toe articulation. That's sick, man. That is sick. Sick. Damn it. I really just wish we got some toe articulation. And then what we've all been waiting for. Let's get this comparison. Why is Nassib running butt booty naked, Scott? And here we have all three figures together. The Action Heroes Chainsaw Man, Figma Chainsaw Man, and SH Figuarts Chainsaw Man. Got some obvious differences right up front. I never noticed, because I'm an idiot. The Figma Chainsaw Man neck doesn't have like the mechanical detail in the neck. It's just kind of membrane-y looking. Fuck. What a bitch. The fuck is this? You didn't pay for this, did you? Excuse me, I still don't like that figure. Um, the Action Heroes is obviously taller, which is cool. But as far as articulation and accessories go, both Figma and SH Figure Arts have Action Heroes beat by a mile. But that's besides the point. Look at these price points on these figures. <laughs> Sick. Get out of here. It's not a big deal. Look, see? You know how quick it away? Absolutely outrageous. Damn it, I do not like that Figma figure. I just don't like it. I don't like it, bro. I don't like it. Yeah, this thing's a piece of shit. Let's go do something else. Yeah, come on, hobag. Give me chicken pot pie. I don't like it. Hey, you squeezy little mouse. Go get it your sorry don't ass you don't self. Don't talk to me like that, bitch. Get out of my way, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but this action figures hero, this action... I wonder what the fuck the real dialogue is. But this anime heroes figure, this is pretty damn good. I think this is a damn fine figure. Do I think that it is better than the SH figure ones? No, hell no, absolutely not. Do I think that it is better than the Figma Chainsaw Man? No. I don't know, man. I don't think that's fair. The $100 figure on the right, $22 figure on the left. No accessories. Less sculpt, less paint, but the proportions are definitely better. All right, the Figma is better than the Anime Heroes, but I want each and every one of you to know, by a very thin margin, like I said, I do not like this figure. Fucking thing sucks! I don't like it. Do like this. Do I recommend you pick up the Bandai Anime Heroes Chainsaw Man. Yes, yes I do. So let's get him on the Chainsaw Man shelf and get the hell out of here.